Thank you, Madam Speaker. As one of only a handful of engineers in Congress, I'm proud to once again sponsor a resolution honoring our nation's engineers during National Engineers Week. Next week will mark the 61st Annual Engineers Week. In the eighth year, I have introduced this resolution. I'd like to thank the gentleman from Illinois, Mr. Manzullo, for joining me in leading this bipartisan effort for the second consecutive year. The central goal of Engineers Week, attracting new students to engineering careers, has never been more important. As the 2010 National Academies report explained, while only 4% of the nation's workforce is composed of scientists and engineers, this group disproportionately creates jobs for the other 96%. Engineers drive our economy by designing and building everyday products, including bridges, airplanes, roads, computers, medical devices, cars, power plants, just to name a few. America's 2.5 million engineers have helped make our country great by solving problems and turning dreams into reality, and America's future depends on them. In these uncertain times, we always look for ways to promote job creation. Educating America's youth about engineering and science needs to be a national priority. Each year, National Engineers Week seeks to do just this, through events aimed at fostering public awareness of the vital contributions made by engineers. These events, including the Future City Competition, Introduce a Girl to Engineering Day, and Discover Engineering Family Day, all in part the appreciation of the wonders of engineering to children of all backgrounds. The importance of these events is underscored by a 2012 survey by the Intel Corporation that found American teenagers are more likely to consider a degree in engineering after learning about one, what engineers do. And this year's theme is seven billion people, seven billion dreams, seven billion chances for engineers to turn dreams into reality. This theme emphasizes the potential for growth among the community of, of engineers worldwide. It also highlights a challenge to our position as a global leader in engineering. Last month, the latest science and engineering indicators released by the National Science Board showed that the number of students obtaining engineering degrees in the United States continues to rise. While our production of new engineering degrees has been dramatically eclipsed by China, where 30% of all undergraduate degrees are in engineering, compared to the 4% in the United States. Inspiring bright young minds to consider careers in engineering is more important than ever for our economic competitiveness. Growing up in Chicago, I was fascinated by figuring out how mechanical devices worked. I remember my, how my high school calculus teacher and physics teacher, Dave Ignatius, helped mold this, science, this uh, fascination into an interest in engineering. These teachers, together with informal experiences, like at the Museum of Science and Industry and the Brookfield Zoo, helped motivate me to pursue an undergraduate degree in mechanical engineering at Northwestern University, and then a degree in engineering economic systems at Stanford University. One of the central goals of National Engineers Week is to provide this kind of inspiration for the next generation. During Engineers Week, I will be attending the Chicago Engineering Awards Benefit where the Washington Award will be presented to Chicago native and pioneer of the cell phone, Martin Cooper, and also where students will be honored for their participation in numerous competitions, including the Future City Competition. I'm always greatly inspired when I go to this, this banquet to see one of the great pioneers of engineering talk about the work they've done and to see the students and the work that they're doing today and know the future of our country will be great with their help. Madam Speaker, I'd like to encourage all my colleagues to co-sponsor this resolution, but more importantly, to go home and participate in Engineers Week celebrations in your district. This is a great opportunity for us to thank the engineers who contribute so much to our country and inspire the next generation of engineers that our country needs to stay competitive.